I took the initiative to go and find out who these children are. When I found very young children, I got concerned. And uh, with the ADF threat, I thought I should look for who is behind this recruitment. Because we are told a bus was coming to take children to, to Bombo to a school, uh, a school with this name here, Al uh, uh -huh. So immediately I got my intelligence to connect with the, the intelligence of Bombo to find out where this school is in Bombo if it really exists up to 11 p.m. in the night. We are, they had not found this school in the, the entire Bombo. And they were telling us it could be in Wakiso. We said, no, it is plot 21 Bombo. So when we got this clue, I called the crime intelligence. I said, let's follow this case. We sent crime intelligence to go and get this person who is recruiting people who is himself sleeping in a Rua hotel. When he went there, the man was no, nowhere. He had left, he had gone out, but he had already known that we had gone to the place where the children are. So I told CI, don't sleep. Tomorrow morning, we need this man for interviews. So it was this morning that uh, CI got him, brought him here. He denied everything. We ask him the school where he's taking the children. He doesn't know the name of the school. I told him, write to me the address, the name of the school, where it is. He doesn't know. He pretended he doesn't speak English. And uh, you know, he, he made me so annoyed. And the lady whom we have just arrested, yesterday we were told she is in uh, Saudi Arabia. And uh, she's a girlfriend. While at his hotel, he told us this is his sister, and he's, he lives around town. So you, you see that the, the man could be having a very serious issue. The other day, a 12-year-old child was uh, got with ADF in Ntoroko. And the parents happened to be coming from Arua. We are going to investigate this. If we find that he's, he is connected to ADF, we are going to surrender him to the army. Because his acts is abnormal. It is very abnormal. He has contacts in Turkey. He has contacts in Saudi Arabia. It is abnormal. Let us learn lessons. Parents should not give their children to people they don't know. You've seen very young children. How can you surrender your very young child, like five years, to a foreigner to take to Kampala? What is wrong with the parents of West Nile? Parents are lazy, they don't want to work. So when somebody comes and says, we are taking your children, we are going to pay fees, you, you j just surrender your children. This is very unfortunate. Just last week, we arrested people using the name of a Christian organization, recruiting children to be taken to Kampala for scholarship. Today we've got another one in the name of a Muslim uh, whatever being taken to Kampala. Parents, let's take care of our children. If you don't have money for fees, keep your children at home. That money you have, others have paid 260000 to this, this, this thug. Why can't you take your children to government schools? The gentleman who has been arrested today, Sabir here, is one gentleman that I am sure is the gentleman who is causing us problem in West Nile. Last year, the same gentleman was arrested with very many children from Yumbe. The police intercepted him in a maracha. They intercepted him in a maracha. That's what I'm aware about. From there, we don't know how he got bail. And you know what instance has that happened viral. And today the same gentleman is arrested with over 50 children. Then we may not be sure of him. 
it will be the security that will give you the most of the information. But for us, as 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 Mayor Central Division, together with my colleague Mayor Aivu, we have done our part. We have come to Hotel Arua. They have already seen. Right now, we are going to Continental to get the 50 children who are there. The rest of the work will be done with the security to see into that sanity is brought to West Nile. Order is brought to West Nile so that we don't have bad names of recruiting the ADF. I was shedding tears when I saw children of two years, when I saw children of five years, eight, ten years, being shown viral, carrying guns that were not. And when they're saying I'm from Tanganyika, and Tanganyika, you know, is from Central Division, that we are from Yumbe, you saw the instance that happened. So we are not going to sleep. We are really going to request the security to investigate these guys so properly. What I know about this in Maracha, when this guy trafficked children from Yumbe, because I have confirmed, today I have confirmed, he was from Lefori, Ajumani, Moyo, he traversed the whole of this place. And the other time when he was from, they, they, they tried to intercept him in Maracha, and he gave me a call as the mayor. I tried to do every possible means to see into that information is given. So how he was bailed, how the vehicle he was using also got moved away from the police station, that question will never now be answered. Now, finally, this gentleman has been arrested, I don't know for how many times now. Yeah. The question of how he has been coming out, whether through the police or whether through courts of law, is a pertinent question. If not addressed, then we will be actually wasting our time as elected leaders. This matter here, as mayors of the city, we are going to follow it up to the court. Under DCC, we sit there represent the people. So we are going to push it to the magistrates of the court. Because this evidence is overwhelming. By the way, let alone the issues of conning, we have information that this gentleman has been sleeping with the people's daughters that he has actually brought under his custody. So we are going to subject some of those girls to examinations. So we find that these allegations are true. These are so many crimes committed by one person. So it therefore beats my personal understanding when we are getting information that this man had the case in Maracha. He is still working free. A woman called from Bombo this morning, my colleague mayor. A woman called and said two years ago, he called the children from there and she's still paying. She's still paying parents' money in Bombo. So somebody said he had cases in Nebi. This is something that we will now follow as elected leaders. Because if you don't do this, as I speak now, you go to former Ivone, over 17 million is collected. A 65 year old man is arrested, he's already in the police. They are using him as an agent to collect the money. In Pohi, as I speak now, this morning, money is being collected. An investigation is already on the ground. In Adomi Kati, money has already been collected. So we have lessons to learn here. What kind of desperacy is this in our community to an extent that you hand over your child to somebody you don't know in the first place? And to make matters worse, some of them include girl child. How sure are you that this girl will be safe? How sure are you that this boy will be safe? Do you love your children? This is the question our parents should answer. Number two, why should we continue to produce children if we cannot look after them? Number three, how sure are you that your child is not going to be sacrificed? Our children have been taken to Saudi Arabia, mentioned them. Some of them have been made to sleep with the dogs. We have watched the videos. Some of them have been uh, enslaved. We have watched the videos. Is this not enough for members of the community to know that actually entrusting somebody with your children is not a good thing?